Carmichael's Cancola and um, Minister, I have to say I was really disappointed by some of the language used by the Taunista, whom I would usually, you know, expect to have a humanitarian side to him, because that's what I believe. He is a humanitarian individual. But in part of his press release here, in one paragraph, he states, however, speaking on behalf of the government, I am unable to agree that the bill is the right way forward. I wish to set out carefully for the doll why this is so. There are three broad reasons, legal, political, and practical effects. It's worse than what Trump is trying to do with the wall between Mexico and America. In other words, the Tanishta, by using those three words, is closing off any attempt to deal with the issue. And as far as I'm concerned, the government are totally out of touch with the Irish nation on this issue. I think whatever their beliefs might be political, the vast majority of Irish people are outraged over a number of years what has gone on and the way the Palestinian people have been treated. It is quite clear over many years, and I want to recall the efforts of a former minister in our party, Brian Lennon Sr., who was outspoken and did quite a lot of work going back, I think, to 1980 on this issue and was very much in favour of changes to ensure that those people had a better quality of life. Senator Black and Deputy Collins must be highly commended for their work. And I applaud them. And I will stand firmly behind them as they try to progress this bill. There's many issues has been discussed here today in relation to what has been done to the Palestinian people. But if you take the issue of water, water alone, the basic human right, the issue of access to water is still an ongoing and fundamental issue in this conflict. And access and distribution of water in these territories has been an issue for many, many years. And the Israelis continue to try and disrupt and disturb the poor water supply to those people. That's an outrage in this day and age. And it is completely and totally unacceptable. Water consumption by Israel's by Israel and the Palestinians reflects stark inequalities. Due to the allocations of transboundary water resources agreed upon the Oslo II, Israel currently controls approximately 80% of water reserves in the West Bank. Military conflict in Gaza in the summer of 2014 left over a million residents without access to water. And the Israelis, up to this day, try to continue the poor water supply, to try to discontinue the poor water supply that has that is there. Now, it's a, that is a basic human right. And in this day and age, if people in this parliament don't take this up, we can all talk about this issue day in, day out. But what we're seeing here is people within this parliament and within the two houses who want to do something about it. And of course we can do something. We can lobby Europe. We can have meetings like we have on other issues. We can take a stand on this issue and fight that case within Europe. I'll now hand over to my colleague, Imran O'Keefe.